So welcome back to yet another episode of the top Android apps, this time for the month of October. Even though I upload a new episode of this series each and every month, somehow I have found another 10 amazing new apps that I think you'll want to download and try out. So get those phones ready, grab a drink, and let's do this. One of the best byproducts that comes as a result of each new smartphone release is the collection of new wallpapers that gets released at the same time. And if you're looking to gain access to each of these new wallpapers, then WallP might just be the app to download and check out. So within the app, we have a series of easy to identify categories from a massive range of smartphone manufacturers, including Samsung, OnePlus, Google, LG, HTC, Sony, plus a heap more. And we even have the most recent iPhone XS and XS Max wallpapers available. If you want to get the planet slash soap artwork slash whatever they are backdrops onto your own devices. The application is regularly updated with all of the newest wallpapers from all of the popular smartphone devices. And it's also really easy to navigate and find specific wallpapers in with a clean design and simple user interface. It's a super extensive wallpaper application that fits nicely into its own niche. So definitely one to add into the wallpaper arsenal. Stories has become such a staple feature of Instagram that it's worth considering putting them together with a little more meaning to make them stand out. And Unfold is an app that helps in doing exactly that. So within the app, you start by naming your new story. And from there, you're able to select from a wide range of layouts and designs to start crafting a sequence of Instagram stories. You can have full sized images or images with borders or images with borders and text or just plain text. Really anything is game. And you then use these different layouts to start assembling the different pages that will go into your completed story. After you've completed one page, you then add another and so on until you're satisfied and complete. And once you are, you simply tap the download button and you're able to either save the entire story to your gallery or the individual pages if you're making some minor edits after the fact. And you can also share the pages directly to Instagram for a more streamlined process. Either way, if you're looking to up your Instagram game, then this app is definitely worth trying out at some point in the future. And to see how a completed story looks in action, then make sure you follow me on Instagram at sbeckmans, which I will of course have linked down below. Note taking applications that are unique and that stand out can be hard to come by. So I was certainly impressed when I tried out Idea Note and thought that it was definitely worth showcasing in this edition of top Android apps. So rather than your standard self-contained note-taking app, Idea Note enables you to take notes with just a swipe. Doing so opens up a window overlaid on your home screen that contains a series of floating pills, which you can then tap on and start composing your notes with. Once you've finished with a note, you can simply swipe it away, which archives it, keeping the floating window clean and full of only the notes you want to keep on display. Aside from typing a note with your keyboard, you can also take notes using speech recognition. And so this app has the potential to greatly increase the efficiency of your note taking. There are also a series of tags to help organize your notes, one of which lets you set them up to be to-do list actions, which is very handy. There's also a heap of customization settings to take advantage of in the settings. But aside from all of that, if you're a note taker, then this app is definitely for you. So despite the fact that 99% of my video editing is completed on a computer, from time to time I find myself needing to make a quick cut on my smartphone and my most recent choice of app to do so is InShot. So as the name and app icon might suggest, the app really revolves around creating and editing video content so that it's Instagram ready, whether that be for stories or IGTV. But despite that, it features a whole slew of functions that makes it great for really any application and purpose. So you have your basic trim, cut and split features to make your video the perfect length. But then on top of that, you also have the ability to add filters and effects as well as crop the video to suit wherever you're posting it on social media. You can also add in music and sound effects as well as text and stickers. So you're really only limited by your imagination. It's a genuinely powerful all-in-one video editor. So if you're interested in creating some high quality video content on your phone, then this app is well worth trying out. Now, I don't try and hide the fact that puzzle-based games are some of my favorite to play, but in order to make it onto a top apps list such as this, they also need to have a super sleek design and soundtrack to go with. And so Unbalance is one that pretty well fits all of the above. So the game pretty much revolves around geometry and balance. And all you have to do is try and make a little red circle shape fall and touch the black square shape below. To do so, you drop a series of weighted balls, which is limited depending on the level, and doing so will offset the balance of the larger shape, which will then allow gravity to move the red circle. More often than not though, you'll find that you've either overshot it or way undershot it, so it takes real finessing to actually get that shape to hit the right spot. 
Unlike most puzzle-based games, Unbalance is pretty tricky to get the hang of right out of the gate and takes a fair bit of practice to develop any amount of confidence in. This difficulty is what makes the game addictive though, and on top of that, the overall design is really minimalistic, it's clean and modern, and like I said before, the soundtrack is on point as well. Definitely a game worth trying out. So our next app on the list is not your typical Android application, at least in the strictest sense of the word, but Nox Player is an Android emulator that lets you run Android apps on your computer device of choice. And a big shout out to these guys as they've been nice enough to sponsor today's episode. So once installed on your Mac or PC, the app will open up an Android emulator window and it's based off of Android KitKat 4.2.2, which I know seems fairly old at this point, but the idea of an emulator isn't to run an Android operating system per se, but rather to run applications and games and it does so very well. So once opened you have your standard navigation buttons on the bottom left and the emulator really does run exactly how you'd expect an Android device to run. From there you can either install applications from the inbuilt Google Play Store or you can load them just by dragging and dropping the APK files from your finder or file explorer. This means I can play any Android game such as Alto's Odyssey or Temple Run 2 or run any application like Reddit or Inbox or pretty much anything else for that matter on my computer, which is a surprisingly satisfying experience. Aside from that, there are also a range of other features to take advantage of, such as changing the screen resolution and aspect ratio, setting up a macro recorder to run a series of pre-automated functions, utilizing your computer's keyboard for an in-game controller experience, plus a whole heap more that you'll just have to try and experiment with. Overall, a worthwhile piece of software that is definitely worth checking out. And as always, if you're interested in supporting my channel, then a really easy way to do so is by simply downloading the app below and supporting the developers of Nox Player. You all no doubt know that I love trying out any sort of icon pack that classifies itself as flat and minimal. And so the pure icon pack is one that I've come across that I'm really enjoying the look of. So firstly, the app contains a massive range of icons, over 1800 to be more specific, which means you'll have great coverage for a large majority of your installed applications, which is a good indication of a solid icon pack from the get-go. Each of the icons have that familiar yet visually pleasing circular shape. And then within the circles, we have an accent of color based on the application's base color and then a really small app icon within that. And what this results in is a really clean and modern design and an overall minimal and uniform look, which would suit just about any home screen setup perfectly. Live wallpapers were all the trend when the Pixel 2 and 2XL devices were released last year, but since then, their popularity has somewhat died off. But the Weather Live Wallpaper app is a super unique take on live wallpapers that I think you'll get a real kick out of trying on your own device. So whilst the name is a fairly clear indication of what the app does, the design surpassed what I was expecting in that we get this really clean and material design-esque looping animation and the overall look and theme changes depending on the time of day and the weather as well. So on a sunny day, you get this light blue lake and mountain backdrop with a sailboat sailing back and forth. And then on a clear night, you get this ocean and starry night sky backdrop with a shooting star looping up the top. There's also separate thunder and rain wallpapers, as well as one for when it's snowing and super hot. Although these forecasts didn't come about during my testing of the app. So unfortunately, you'll just have to take my word for it. It's a really unique take on both a weather and wallpaper application. So definitely one to keep in the back pocket for a rainy day. If you're looking to maximize your audio listening experience on your smartphone device, then Stelio Player has been designed to achieve just that, all whilst doing so in a super clean package. So in its most basic form, Stelio is really a glorified music player application in that it plays any audio stored locally on your device. At the same time, it is a really visually impressive app. The design is modern and clean. The animations are smooth and pleasing. And overall, it just feels like a very polished music player application. On top of that, there's a heap of other features that take this app from good to great, including a sleep timer feature where you can set the app up to close after a certain amount of tracks or minutes, perfect for those of us who love to fall asleep to music, as well as an extensive equalizer to really hone in a specific sound for your audio. There's also an inbuilt lyric finder, the ability to change the album artwork, plus a whole heap of settings to customize and tweak to make the app look and behave how you want it to. A super clean music app, definitely worth checking out. And finally today, one of the really positive trends that seems to have popped up over the past year has been the screen time and digital well-being features that Apple and Google respectively have implemented to reduce the amount of time we are spending on our devices. But if you don't own devices made by these companies, then your hour might just about be the next best option. 
So when you install and launch the app, it will then start tracking your device screen on time, including how many times you unlock your phone, as well as a play by play of what apps you've opened and at what time. You can also then see how long each individual app has been open for since the start of the day, as well as how long they've been open for throughout the entire week. And brace yourselves because this can be a pretty eye-opening revelation. From there, you can also set time limits and goals for how long you want to use each application for and how many unlocks you want to limit yourself to each day. And the app will send you reminders each time you surpass your self-inflicted limitations. This app is seriously so eye-opening and yet is without a doubt one to install and keep in mind so that we can all try and keep our phone addictions at bay. But aside from that, that is it for today's episode. As always, all of the links for each of the apps mentioned throughout the video will be included down in the notes below. So don't forget to check them out and let me know which of the apps in today's list you'll be trying out on your own device. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. That is always very much appreciated. A subscribe even more so. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.